So that looks, I practically know that the garments work, your camo patterns work in the bush. Uh, that's just through experience. But the question I have for you is, why do they work? <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. Um, we spent nearly two years developing the pattern, a lot of research into how animals see um, sort of their environment, you know, even right down to the angle at which they see you at um, when you were creeping around in the bush. Um, and we, you know, we slowly evolved the pattern to get exactly what we wanted. So, and that main goal was a pattern that was going to work in a wide variety of environments at a multiple engagement distances. So, right up close when you're in the bush, right out to and you're up on the open tops shooting tar with a rifle. Um, and so the way we achieved that is we sort of, we started with our, our background base colour. And this was a, there was a lot of trial and error went into this to get a colour that would almost change in different environments. So in a green environment, it'll look a bit greener. In a tan environment, it'll look more tan. Um, so that helps with its adaptability in, in different environments. Um, we then went into what we call our macro pattern. So these are these big blocks you see through here. Um, and that is designed to break up your body at, at longer distances. On top of this, we have two layers of what we call our micro pattern. And these are all the little fine details you see here, and the mesh pattern and everything. Um, and that breaks up the macro pattern and the background at really close ranges so when that when that deer is looking at you at eight meters he doesn't see the blocks either he sees broken blocks um, and obviously the entire the color palette we've gone for reasonably high contrast without getting too ridiculous mm. so that helps with the breakup in, in different lights um, and the colour palette is very specific so that when deer see it they don't see blues or yellows because deer are essentially red green colour blind right. which means they get reds and greens confused they don't they see blue very vividly so there is absolutely no blue pigment in this there's no UV brightness in this because uh, ungulates or hooved animals deer, pigs, goats, tar that sort of thing uh, can see and right down into the UV wavelength of light. For many years, I um, never really had camo. I had broken up patterns. Right. Um, you know the old checkered patterns. Um, so there was still a bit of breakup uh, in in my attire. Yeah. I never wore solid material or clothing in the bush. Um, it just I seemed to push a lot of deer away like that. As soon as I started using a broken up pattern. Um, that's when I started noticing that I was getting a lot closer to these animals. Yeah, right. Um, as a bow hunter and a traditional bow hunter, is that I uh, get close to animals naturally, and it's just the way um, you have to be when you're hunting with, with a bow like this. Um, and so when the technology came through and I'd seen this, um, I was actually caught out by the shape of the rugged bush jacket. I loved that uh, classic look, and then as soon as you stamped it with that veil, um, it was all on from there because I knew that. That pattern, uh, through other things that I had trialled before, leaf patterns and things like that, just made sense. Yeah, right. And, and I had a beautiful moment one time where I got eight metres away from a stag. I actually wow. thought it was a fawn. And so I sort of let her be. And I thought, well, I'll get to you. I could see a little bit of fluff just behind this little scrub. I made my way quite casually and noticed it was a stag lying down, half asleep, chewing his cud. And uh, eight metres away. And I stood there for two minutes staring at him and he looked straight through me and yeah. I was sold then and there that uh, he couldn't make out what I was and he still felt safe where he was even though I had an arrow pointing at him. Um, long story short I didn't shoot him, he stood up, got a bit of a wind going on and he just tr uh, just trotted away but right, there was yeah. no uh, there was no moment at all that he looked like he was freaked out and yeah. of course you got to be a good hunter for that eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>